there's a very popular movement all around Simon Sinek's concept of start with your why. Basically, what he's saying is figure out why you want to do what you're doing, and that'll guide you and motivate you in everything you do. I got to tell you, I don't agree. I never have. I'm just sitting here thinking about the last several purchases I've made. So I bought some grass seed. Why did I buy that grass seed? Because when I went into the Ace Hardware, the salesperson, who I know personally, said to me, what are you trying to do? I explained it. And he says, that's the best one. That's the one that's most likely to fill in those holes in your lawn. And so I bought it. By the way, I was at that Ace Hardware because it's closer. And even though I realize I'm going to pay more than going down to the Home Depot, I don't, I'm not willing to spend the extra money to drive down there. And I want to support the local small guy that's close to me so that he will continue to stay in business. None of that. So the grass seed, that wasn't their why. And the Ace Hardware, that's not his why either. He's just running a business. I bought a couple of Kindle books. I have no idea what the big why is behind Kindle, nor do I know what the big why is behind the author who wrote that book. I bought it because I wanted to read that particular title. It had been recommended to me, and so I thought it'd be a good thing for me to read. Next, I bought some supplements. I bought them from Amazon. Why did I do that? Because I could order them and two days from now, they'll be sitting on my porch. Do I know what the supplement company's big why is? Very frankly, I suspect their big why is they want to make a lot of money. And so I helped them to do that. But my big why was I wanted to get those supplements to keep that going in my body and not run out and wait until I have to wait until I get around to going down to the store. I shop at a grocery store that's somewhat close to my home. I could shop a little bit cheaper by driving another direction for an extra 10 minutes. But I shop there at that particular grocery store because I want to have local. Now, all of these have nothing to do with the big why of the company. I don't know if the owner of that Ace Hardware has a mission, a daughter he's trying to support, anything else like that. All I know is that my needs were for those particular products at those particular times. So not once am I thinking about what, what their big why is. And no, nor do I even know what that is. People don't buy because of your why. People buy because of theirs. And very frankly, I think it's a huge mistake to start with your big why. What does that tell your employees? It tells your employers, employees, we're more important than our customer. What we want, what our mission is, is more important than the customer's desires and their needs and their missions in life. Personally, I believe what you should be focusing on is what's my customer's big why? What is the thing? So your job is to figure out their why and give them that. Whether it's, I noticed that two of those places I talked about were retailers who were close to me, not way down an extra 15 minutes down towards the shopping area in town. That's why they're there in my mind. That's why I shop there. But those are both big chains. They're not dealing with that why in the same way. And now, of course, if you need some extra motivation, then go ahead, figure out your big why. But don't start with that. Start with the why of your customers. So one of the products that I was responsible for creating when I worked for Corporate America is a brand called Poise, which is a brand that basically helps people with mild, women with mild incontinence 
to be able to have protection, to be able to go out in public knowing they're not going to have an accident and not have to wear an adult diaper. All right. What was the why behind that? Well, the why behind that was I had an aunt who had that very situation. She leaked a little bit, not enough to wear a full adult diaper, but she leaked a little bit. And she knew I was working on the Depend brand and she called me and she told me, this is what I'm looking for. And so my mission was to go and find something that would help my aunt and the 110, well, forget the numbers, a whole bunch of other women all around the world who had that exact same problem. So my why for that product was not some highfalutin thing. It was, I want to help those women who have that problem be able to have the dignity and the solution to that specific problem. That's how a why should work. Not my big why, their big why. That brand is almost a billion dollar brand now. So think about it. Do you want to focus on your big why? set the entire equation backwards where you're focusing on you instead of your customers? Or do you want to start from the very beginning with what do my customers want and need? How can I give it to them? Oh, by the way, I've got a big why in the background. Think about it that way. And I bet you your business will be better. What's your thoughts? I know this is controversial. I know that there are a whole bunch of Simon Sinek fans who are just foaming in the mouth and hating everything I'm saying right now. Feel free to weigh in and to tell me why I'm wrong. But I invite you also, as you're thinking that, to think the other side of the equation of what could your business be like if what you're really motivated by was your customers' needs and desires. Their big why. Let me know in the comments. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.